Hey guys, welcome back. Let's play Chrono Cross. Last time we did an ending. This time we're doing another ending. This one is only available for a very short period of time. You must defeat the Time Devourer after saving Riddell from Viper Manor in Homeworld once you become Lynx. And before going to Hermit's Hideaway to meet up with basically this entire cast and have them all join your party. A very, very short window, probably the shortest in the entire game as far as having to get endings, save for maybe the very first one where you have to do it with Surge alone. Yeah, there's not a lot of time, very hard to get if you have forgotten to make a save, but we're all prepped up and ready to go for this one. And yeah, finally come for the Acacia Dragoons to Sally Forth. What the hell kind of dialogue is this? Why do you want to kill everything? Once uh, we are able to recruit all of our characters into the party, I'm going to be looking around to see if I can get some more development on Marcy's character because she doesn't get much other than she wants to kill everything. And with the whole revelation of her being Nikki's sister, I suspect there are some scenes between the two, but I'm going to wait until I get the whole party together before we do a lot with that. You'll notice there's a uh, one of the guys there is uh, one of the soldiers is not quite like the others. He's a little familiar there, that one. Here's the battle is unavoidable. Our army will strike back in full force. No, no, no. We killed Fade already. No worries about that. Though at this point in the plot, we have it. And so is leading the charge. And again, this lag like absolute dog crap in the original. Yo, what's going on here? Those two hate each other. I was actually looking into this. Um, I wonder if they, I don't know if they ever mention it in game or not. But the reason without going into like because I'm basically just read this off of uh, one of the wiki sites the reason that Fargo and Viper hate each other has something to do with why Fargo's wife passed as far as I've been able to read that seems to be the case I don't think I've ever seen anything in game to indicate this this could have been something that they did in one of the perfect works or Ultimania things I did not read the, uh, any of the perfect works or Ultimania or whatever it is for this game for this let's play uh, the only time I ever got into one of those was the uh, Xenogears LP it's kind of the only one that was complicated enough like the plot here is way over the top and complicated and convoluted, but it doesn't hold a candle to Xeno Gears. That's just a whole nother level. And apparently we're still here. Taking it easy. So we're talking about what happened before. Never stayed in one place for so long. Well then. Time for dinner. Um, well, if we were playing Final Fantasy VIII, this would absolutely be the answer. Uh, let's go for the specialty. I don't know if there's any major differences if you choose one or the other. I will have to steal some ingredients. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, hello. Look who it is. A confrontation. And <laughs> this theme. 
finally found you. Now that we've seen the orphanage this scene, we have a lot more understanding about why Kid hates both Harley and Lynx so much. More lives than a cat. Literally, actually. Considering her amulet. Oh? Old situations pissing me off. Surge wants nothing to do with it. Not really the most appropriate theme for that particular spot, but uh, it is kids theme, so you might as well, I guess. It doesn't bother me too much. We don't spend a lot of time with it, and it's in an ending that is entirely optional. It's not part of the main story. But yeah, that's pretty much all for this ending. Next time we move on to the next ending. We've got see, three more endings left and then a whole bunch of side content that we should also get into. As always, remember to save over our New Game Plus file. This is also the one that I've been loading from. This is why we keep duplicating items nonstop. Um, though one thing that came to light in this one, because I just used the party uh, that I already had, and the party that I already had had uh, Norris and Karsh in it, and I didn't have a rainbow axe for him. So I was like, oh, I got the Smith Spirit. I'll just go make it. No, can't do that yet, because I hadn't figured that far out in the plot at the time. So if you are playing along, you may need to change character. Not that it matters. Now that we're using Lynx against the Time Devourer, it goes by so fast. All you need is basically two characters with decent strength and just alternate between them. More than good enough. But yeah, that's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.